Welcome to a short introduction to and overview of TT Performance Suite. As you can tell by its name, TT Performance Suite is a full software suite consisting of many different components. For this video though, we will focus just on the aspects relevant for performance support. First of all, I would like to start with a short presentation on our understanding of performance support and what we mean with performance support with TT Performance Suite. Just for a brief overview of the definition, we say that performance support is a tool or the resource from print to technology that provides just the right amount of task guidance and support precisely when you need it, with an emphasis on the right amount and the precise moment when you need it. However, what we've been aware all the time is that formal learning and performance support always have to go hand in hand. You need formal learning when it comes to change management processes, when it comes to motivating people, or when providing basic knowledge. However, when it comes to the execution, performance support is the key factor to consider. As we know that performance support and formal learning have to go hand in hand, we have designed a holistic concept of performance support. We deem it necessary that help is provided at various levels of detail. So what users really need is, in addition to step-by-step -step instructions to, for example, an IT application, they need de detailed information, self-study material and concepts and processes. This might depend on the individual and also on the individual company, which is why these categories can be defined by each of our customers themselves. Enough of theory, let's now look at our products. First of all, we start with the options an end user has got to access content in the moment of need. There are basically two options, the portal and quick access. I would like to start with quick access. In order to do this, I will switch to an IT application, in this case, SAP. I'll open SAP and I realize I really don't know what to do. What I can do now is click at the little orange in my taskbar and quick access the in-application help will pop up. As you will have realized, it automatically grasps the context of the application you're in, in this case SAP, and it will continue to do so as long as the synchronizing button has been switched on. So I will now change transaction and let's look what Quick Access does. It changes transaction as well, giving me only the relevant help for this particular transaction. What you can see to the right is the different categories that information is sorted into. As I've outlined before, these are field help, step-by-step -step guidance, detailed information, self-learning units and concepts and processes. Now let's take a look at the different type of help categories that you can get. The first thing at the top is the field help. It relates to one particular field and gives you a definition of that field. As you can see, it will change as I click through the individual fields. The next level of information is the step-by-step -step guidance. It will lead you through a specific task when you click on the arrow button. It opens up next to your window and shows you what to do. I've already entered the transaction code and clicked enter, but now I need to know what order type I need to use. And this will be RE, so that's what I can enter here. If I'm unsecure where exactly that particular field is positioned on the screen, I can use the little preview to see where the field is located. If you want to give closer guidance to your users, you can also use a different mode of guide. Let me show you. As you can see, the entire screen of your application is grayed out and only a small spot is highlighted where you need to enter your input. As in the step list mode, the overlay will lead you step by step through the respective task. As indicated before, as long as the synchronizing button is switched on, quick access will always follow you as you switch through the applications. Let's change to Excel. 
They will recognize that we are now in Excel 2013. But it doesn't only work for on-premise applications, but also for web-based applications, such as success factors. So here you can also see as well the step-by-step -step guidance, the detailed information, contact, and concepts and processes. So we have again, we have the um, performance support categories, but a different one here. We have the contact because here we have a link to a chat. Let's switch back to SAP. One of the big advantages of Quick Access is that users can be provided with any type of documentation, no matter whether it has been created with TT Performance Suite or not. One of the examples is an Excel sheet with a list of available sales order types. Another example is a link that will open Outlook. With the help of quick access, users can also drill down to another level of detail and jump to the portal where courses or processes can be defined. Let me introduce the portal to you now. Quick access has brought me directly to the right process level, but for my little demo, I would like to start at the beginning. The portal can be branded according to your corporate design. Contents can be grouped by either processes, topics or courses. And in addition, we have the section news. Of course, also roles can be selected, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to choose the head of sales. And now I'm going to drill down into the processes. As you can already see here, some of the processes are grayed out, whereas others are blue. The blue ones I can select as being the head of sales. So I'll select the order to cash and I drill down. It's very easy to find my way given the fact that so much is grayed out because it's not relevant to me. You can see down here that documents have been attached to that particular process step. So this is a way that users can drill down through their process, coming from the overview down to the detail and finding relevant help documentation for themselves. Now let's take a look at the type of documents that users can find here. Let's open one. Here you can see a document with three different export formats that have been created in one single recording step via single sourcing. Let me show you the e-learning. When looking at an e-learning, you can choose between different modes. You can either choose, in this case, the presentation mode that will lead you through a process or choose the interactive mode so that the user really has to click themselves. What you see here is a perfect simulation of your live application. It will tell you what you do and the users can execute the transaction while still being in a safe environment. I will stop the e-learning here. But how are these documents created with TT Performance Suite? Let's switch to the client. I choose new document. I select the type of document that I would like to create. I enter the title. And I can also add some other metadata. I now have the option to create a TT document, the type of document that is created with TT Performance Suite, to upload a file or to create a placeholder that can be appended by my business experts. 
I now have some settings that I can select that I will skip because normally it's set as default. I will just like to introduce the publishing formats to you. You can create documentation that you can convert into a manual. You can create exercise sheets, short instructions, e-learnings in the mode study and assessment mode. And you can also create guides, the step lists that I've shown you in quick access. You can maintain templates within TT Performance Suite so that all content produced will conform with your corporate design. The easiest way to append content for an e-learning for an IT application is to do a recording. So I'll do that now. I select the step where I want to append the content. I start recording. Application asks me which application do I want to record. I choose SAP. Hit OK. Now SAP is put to the center of attention. And now I basically just have to perform all the steps that I would do to execute a specific task. So I'll enter the transaction code and it already has grasped that I click the transaction code. I enter the transaction code and it grasps this as well. I hit enter, enter some data. and so on and so forth. I'll stop recording. I think it's enough for demonstration purposes. And you can see that it has entered all the screenshots into my e-learning. It has also entered already instruction texts. Click the transaction code input field, for example. And I can now look at how it's going to look for my users. So it's going to be a perfect simulation of the application. It tells me to click the transaction code input field. And when I do this, I, it gives me the next instruction. At the same time that it has created that e-learning with all the instruction texts, it has also created documentation and guide. Let me just stop the demo mode and switch to the other editors. In the documentation, you can see a view that can be exported into a user manual. And in the guide, you have a step-by-step -step instruction as we've seen in the quick access. Don't worry, the empty text boxes that are used for placeholders where the e-learning has text will not be exported. So now let me upload this to release it for our usage. I will set the workflow automatically now to um, release directly. I could forward it to the copy editor or select any other status in the workflow that has been defined by the customer, but I will release it directly. So now it has been uploaded as can be seen by the green writing. So let's go back to SAP and check for the quick access. And there you go. You can see the documents that we have created. Let's click it. So this is what we've done just now, our recording that we did. And the recorder has automatically grasped the context of the application and added it so that it will automatically appear in Quick Access. So let me sum up the advantages that the TT Performance Suite has for performance support. It's first of all the different categories that you can choose yourself and where the users can drill down depending on the level of detail that they need information for. It's that it's application independent. You can switch between the applications as long as it's synchronizing up here. And it's very easy to create content and to append it to quick access to make it available for your users. Thank you for your attention.